everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jamie, thank you guys so much for being here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you, actually it's gonna be a few videos. I'll be showing you my jewelry haul, my basically my jewelry that I've been collecting for a year or so. And uh, I have a lot of different kinds of jewelry. I'm not sure what I exactly have, so that's why I really wanna show you all. If you see something that you like or you need in your life, you can always email me. My email and information will be down below. I also have an eBay account and a Poshmark account. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to sell my jewelry and have you guys look at it. Basically, let me know what you guys think of it. If there's anything super valuable or, or unique, um, let me know because like I, I have lots and I would love to share and get as much information as possible so I can start making some money into the family. And yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy the series. I love you guys so very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you guys are going to see my jewelry haul, my jewelry collection, and I have a lot of it, okay? I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Okay, I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back now, and I'm going to show you guys what's in my first box here, my jewelry box. Um, it's filled up, has different little things in it. I'm not too sure how much detail I'm going to go into, but I'm going to uh, just show you what I have. If you see something, it will be placed back into the box. And uh, basically, for instance, if you see this necklace here, and it's a stone with silver, and you like it, and the length, it does have a tag. I know this one I think has a tag, yeah. Or does it? I'm not too sure. I thought it did. It doesn't. So if it does have a maker's mark or anything like that, I'll let you guys know that too um yeah so if you do see anything that you like let me know i'm just gonna bring over the little mat that i have here there we go uh, i'm not gonna go in it i won't go into too much detail like i said with like say the length of this necklace as you can see it's pretty long this is the ring holder so it is pretty long and i'm thinking this is like looks like a granite but i'm not too sure i never tested it but that's this one right here so if you see something you like, like I said, let me know. So that will be in the, the first uh, bucket. And uh, if you hear noises in the background, it's just my husband's right beside me and I'm watching YouTube and um, my kids are home and the turtle is on. And he got a new filter, so it's extra loud just for you guys, for all of us. So here's the next necklace here. I have no idea if it's real. It does have a maker's mark right here. I'm not too sure who made it. I'm not gonna go, like I said, I'm not gonna go into do, uh, too much detail because I don't want these videos to be too long. But if you do see something you like, just let me know. Okay, and that's how long it is. I think there's what, just the two items in this one. And I do have, everything is super duper packed in these uh, little boxes, okay? Here is a, looks like a head of some sort. I'm not too sure what, uh, nationality or what um, religion this is. I'm sorry, but, I, but it is solid. Not sure what it's made out of. And these beads are here too. And then there's the bead on top. Let's see, there we go. I should have got a, um, a little necklace stand for you guys, but I'm sorry, I don't have one just because I know it's playing off really really dark okay I'm just gonna put that one back so that's that one and it's absolutely stunning and it's heavy okay here is a bracelet and it seems like it's glass I have no idea like I said I'm learning myself I was going to hire a jeweler to come over and appraise my jewelry but I never got the chance to yet I'm looking into it but I've been asking a lot of questions and yeah, but I don't want to be a pain because I've been asking so much questions, but that's this bracelet right here. It's absolutely stunning and it feels like glass. Gorgeous. Okay. And inside here, this one is, it has, does have a maker's mark. Not sure who made it. I don't even know what this is. If it's a necklace, I'm assuming it is, but it's this nice glass butterfly, red stunning butterfly with looks like silver to me. And it does, like I said, it has a maker's mark right here. If I went to go and research all of these items, it would take me a long time 
probably a year at least. So that's why I find, I find it best for us to teach each other and we can learn. So that's that one there. Then I also have these two pairs, I mean, this pair of earrings here. It does have a maker's mark. They are, see, they have that discoloration. See, and I don't think I should put it with the silver because then it's gonna discolorize the other item, right? So that's those earrings right here. Okay, so let me, I will, you know what, I will put these, I will put these in this one here and in, into the second bucket there. Sorry, there is a fly. Uh, we had our door open, it's summertime right now. So we had our door open and flies tend to like to come into the house and bother me and everybody else. Okay, these are cold, they're glass. This is a bracelet. And that's what that looks like. I'm assuming it's old and uh, like probably from the 70s. And here is a necklace. This is also glass. And I don't even have one of those lights, you know, those lights that you see through. Um, I do have one for my nails, but I don't have one for, I guess I could probably, what is a UV light or LED? But they are glass and they are absolutely stunning. And that is the clasp right there. And they are beautiful. Stunning. Okay, that's that one. And then I have these little pendants. Sorry, I'm going to see if I can get that fly gone. So if you do see it. I can't stand flies. They're just so irritating. And then there's these guys here. Don't know what they are. Okay. That's that one. And that's in that bucket right there. Just put them that way. And I don't want to scratch. Try not to scratch anything. I, I hear that it's, you got to be careful with your jewelry. Okay. So I have this necklace here. I mean, is it a necklace? I guess it's a choker. And I'm not sure, there's no maker's mark, but look at the shine on that. Absolutely stunning. It looks like silver to me, but there's no maker's mark that I can see. But to me, it looks like silver. And I think this is really beautiful. Absolutely, like look at the stones. It's stunning, just looking at it. Okay, I'm, in, I'm going into this side now. Then I have some artisan made looks like to me this is a necklace here and it looks like a stone to me with silver here is looks like a rock a colored rock pendant and it comes with the did it had an earring no it didn't have an earring for this one but it's a heart and here's a glass pendant with a flower pretty cool this one here this heart with this flower <sighs> and this one here has like a gold glitter in it Pretty big one, it's kind of big there, thick. These were like on ropes, so I kind of, I just, um, here is a bangle. It looked like it, I got my husband to shine it. That's another thing too, as I'm not sure if people like to have their silver shined or not. And I'm assuming this is silver. See, that's the thing too, is I don't wanna be getting myself in trouble and then not knowing what something is. But it did have a, it used, it did have a chain, and then that's the mark in the front. Stunning. I have no idea what this is worth, and I don't know the weight. I notice that people do weigh their their items, so that's that. And then there's some rocks. This is just, I guess, if you want to make another earring. It's very similar. I think it was from a necklace, I believe, but I only have these two. 
This one, I think it says 925 on it. So I just kept it. That's why I have a little bit of random stuff. This is, it feels like plastic, plastic to me. This is a glass um, pendant. There is a hole right here. I don't know who's made it, not sure, but I do have something similar to this and it is like a Monet. I believe it was a Monet. So that's some nice fine art right there. And I actually have a necklace with probably 30 of these pieces on it. One, I think one broke, but yeah, I have 30, like 30 of these glasses. Okay, I also have this um, turtle, wood tur turtle. And it goes on a necklace too. It's pretty cool. Not sure what this stuff is worth. This one here, this little turtle here, that's why I wanted to showcase this so you guys can know or see. Maybe you, see, you have an idea. Here is an elephant. This feels like plastic to me. So these little two items, I'm just going to put in my little other container. I collect a lot of little plastics, but this one here is real. This is an elephant, and he is definitely some kind of stone. And it's hand carved, and he is stunning. Beautiful. Stunning. Okay, so that's that one there. So I'm just going to put this stuff back. What do you guys think so far? This stuff is pretty cool looking. And I know, yes, I have to go through the stuff and put my silver stuff with silver stuff and my gold stuff with gold stuff, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over so you guys can see the next square. I'm gonna probably it might have a hard time with seeing each square because um, it goes up, right? So yeah. So here's the next one here. It looks like this one is like lava to me. I'm not too sure, but it looks like lava. It's a rock that's shaped like this. It's pretty cool, and that looks like it's silver. The color. Plus, if I think if I don't have anything in the background, then maybe you guys can see it more. And that's pretty big. Like, that's like pretty long. There's a pendant. And then I'm assuming these will probably be all my pendants in this one here. And the hand. I'm not sure if it's real. Another one. This one looks like pewter to me. This one too. Now that I'm learning how uh, things are, or they could just be steel or just nothing, like just aluminum. I don't know, any kind of different things like that. But like I said, I don't test everything. I have way too much stuff to test. <sighs> too much. I had a lot of little knickknacks here. See, I don't even know. This could be real. This could be silver as far as I know. I have no idea. Does everything have marks? I've heard not everything does. And then I have all these little guys in here. This was off of, uh, I, I think it was like a prey bracelet. But I think those bracelets too, I think they tend to actually have silver. I think they're, some of them or most of them are made out of actually silver or gold. And this came from another bracelet. It's just that the, the bracelets are, they were like probably very um, worn. There's that here. Peace on earth, I guess it looks like. Yeah, peace on earth. There's this butterfly here. And that's the back of it. And I think that's it for that one. So I'm just gonna put these back. So I'm gonna post this video first, and if you guys like it, you guys let me know, and then I'll continue showing you the guys the rest of my jewelry. Okay, I'm going to the next, the next one right here. The next one right there. It's a ring, and it has um, rhinestones or gems or something on it. I think that yeah, there is one missing right here. I never test it. 
It's a small ring. I notice a lot of the rings I get, they're really small over here. I don't even use this. This is a five and a half. Five and a half. Here's another ring here. And this one is six and a quarter. And I don't, like I said, I'm not testing everything because it'll take me forever. But if you do see something, let me know. Very much interested. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there was something written in this one, but I think it was like love or something. There's this guy here, this little pendant. Opens up. I've seen these before, but this is the only one. It has A3 in it. Not sure what that means. I think it would just take me years and years to find out what everything is. That's why I, was, <clears throat> I wanted to hire a jeweler. Um, because, like I said, I don't know what all of this stuff is. Here is a pendant, a rock. Looks like a ro um, rose quartz. And it has the tree of life. The pendant. We have a shell. So I just keep odds and ends. Someone looks like it's man-made. Art. I have this pendant here. That's what the back looks like. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, there we go. It's like a magnet. Sorry. There's another pendant. And I think this is the last, oh, there's two pendants in here. The last two pendants in that one there. Okay, that's that one for that. I'll just put them back. Okay, I'm going to the next one right here. The one with the dolphins and the cameo. Okay. Here's a cameo. That's the back. Dolphin. And I also have the earring that goes with it. So I don't have the I don't have the other earring. I only have the one earring. So say for instance you wanted to make something else with it, you can. Um, where is it? Right here. Sorry, I'm grabbing everything else out of there. But if you feel like you wanted to do something else with it, you could. There you go. I'm not sure if it's anything. It looks like it's um shell. I'm not sure if it's sterling, silver, anything like that. I'm not sure. Also have these earrings here. And they're like fish earrings. And they're what hematite, I think that's what they're called, or something like that. And I'm assuming this is sterling. And look at this little mark right there. Stunning. Okay. And then I also have this piece here. Pendant. This one doesn't look like it's much because of the way this back looks to me. So, but the front, it's nice. And then this necklace. kept it because it looked different. It's like really, really shiny. Look at that. It'll look great with that already. <laughs> I didn't even, yeah, so I don't even know if this is silver. I'm not sure. I have my magnet here and it doesn't stick. So, and I have my big, big mirror, or magnet, sorry. So that's that one there. Those ones there. And I'm going to the next one here and it's um, a portrait of, I'm not sure if it's Japanese or Chinese, 
but that's what this one looks like. I have two of these, two of them. And I took it to um, a gold and silver people, they buy your gold and silver. And I felt like, you know, they were probably offering me like $3 for it. And I was like, ah, uh, no, I think I'm gonna keep it because super duper pretty, stunning. But I think he tested it and it was not gold. But just the art work is beautiful. Got this necklace here. And that's what the clasp looks like. And that looks like it's like handmade. Like, I mean, this is crazy artwork. Beautiful. And here is a necklace. And I think this is might be if it's gold plated. See, and I'm not sure if gold plated even has worth. And I'm thinking it does. Some kind of worth. It's a necklace. Okay. And this is actually, um, like that came from my gold collection. Some of this stuff. Okay. <sighs> that I um, got, grabbed from the store. Or not the store. When I did that, that uh, gold. Some of this. <sighs> Sorry, the fly is bothering me. I'm going to the next one here. This here, I'm not sure what this is. But it looks like it's some kind of, well, we know it's a bracelet, but I don't know if Japanese, Chinese, but it's engraved. I don't know if it's gold. I'm assuming it's not. And that is the mark on the bottom. Like, I would have to Google search all of this. But there's two of these. And then these beads here. So I'm thinking, oh man, that looks interesting, unique. Not sure. Here are some, looks like tiger eye um, beads or rocks. Tiger's eyes are cold. Oh, I'm not sure what it's worth. Here's a copper bracelet. Looks like it's copper to me. And that's that one there. Like I said, if you know anything, let me know, please. That would be great. This here is a necklace with, looks like a cameo-ish inside. I don't know like what's that, but it doesn't have a mark on it saying if it's gold and it does stick to the magnet. So I'm assuming it's not gold and it has like an old clasp. See, that's another thing, learning a bunch of stuff, but it's hard. And then you got all of this little indent in here. Oh yes, and then, you know what, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab that makeup uh, compartment. Um, selling on, I'm gonna sell it on my eBay. And I'm not sure if it's all sir, uh, silver or sterling silver. I was talking to one of the ladies here on the tube. I'm watching her right now. And I was asking her how much it would be. Okay, so I'm Shine this up for me? Sure. Yeah? It's super stunning whenever you want to. Okay, I found it. It's this one right here. This is the makeup compartment. Sorry it took me so long to grab it. I have lots of jewelry, guys. That's what it looks like. And I don't know if this is Victorian or where this comes from. And I wanted to show to see what you guys think of it. And it's heavy. And it opens weird. Like, I mean, it's like different the way it opens. And that's the mirror. I'm not sure if it comes out or anything. I just really don't want to do any damage. But I think I'm going to get my husband to shine this up. I think this is absolutely stunning. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. What do you guys think? Do you think this is silver? And it's heavy. Let me know what you guys think. kind of reminds me of uh, those... Um, clocks um pocket watch hi baba there's a fly around here it's pissing me off so it says a vintage compact makeup mirror silver tone that's all it says for description so 
Let me know what you guys think that is. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, the next items here are these bracelets, gold bracelets. I'm not sure if they're gold, but that's that one there, bangle. This one here, it has a chain on it and a clasp. And it has these little marks on it too. I'm gonna just put this aside right there. Don't wanna scratch. I keep on saying, don't scratch your jewelry, Jamie. This one is vintage. It's gotta be old. And look at that, it's gorgeous. Just press on it there. I'm not sure, these would be rhinestones. There we go. Who had a shower? Someone had a shower? Are you guys doing anything? Yeah. No? You guys go in the pool. <laughs> Dad's been trying to get me in there. I'm like, I'm not going in by myself. I was thinking this. Well, do you want to do it now? Okay. There's this thing going here. Oh, because, yeah. This one here. And then this bracelet here. That's in the, the other compartment. So, yeah, that's that one there. So, if you're interested, let me know. And if you see something in there that you say, holy man, you have that, let me know. I would rather know than not know. Because if it's like super unique, hey, right? Okay. I'm just going to move this stuff a little bit here. Actually, I'll put it back in there. Okay, there we go. My husband's going to shine up that um, makeup. Yeah. Okay, next items here. here you had that rag outside I don't know where it went I'm not sure here is a bracelet oh there we go baby ah, I brought it in there we go it's a bracelet there I'm gonna bring it out a little bit the camera and there is a mark on it I believe this one has a mark but I don't know can't remember what it says there's so many so much jewelry that I just don't can't keep track. This one here, beautiful. This one does have a safety chain and it has an old clasp. You guys want to go in the pool? <laughs> yeah, I said to Dad, I'd go in if. He goes in with me. I, I'm not gonna go in by myself. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. Next one here. Sorry, I'm just with the family right now, just because I'm in the kitchen. Here is a pendant. I'm not sure what all of this is. I'm gonna move the camera a little closer for you all, see if you guys can see. I know it's black on black, but yeah. And that's what the back looks like. And it is a big piece too. Like, I mean, it's pretty long. It's probably about two inches. And it's stunning. Not sure what it is. And I also have this. This is like a fish. Looks like it was an earring, but you could just take that off and use it as a pendant. And I believe it's rock. It's a red rock of some sort and was carved. Here's this necklace here. And I believe it's silver too, the way it looks. And it has like uh, stones in them. And it's stunning. And that's the chain. Oh my gosh, baby. Wow, look, he just shined that up. That's the difference. Wow. Holy moly. Baby, I should take a picture of that. I want to keep it. I don't even want to put it on eBay. I think it's um, 
it's something vintagey. The clasp is broken on this one here, but that's easy repair. Wow, baby, that's beautiful. I love it. Oh, that is gorgeous. Man, I want you to just shine all my silver for me. Like, look, I have silver right here. <laughs> that's so pretty. Oh, that's so stunning. I love it. The next one. That's one, like, one thing I really love is old makeup. Like, look at, look at that. That's like, just imagine who held that. Okay, I'm just bringing the next items here. Oh, and I love that you don't mind doing that, you know, because... Yeah, here are some earrings. I'm not too sure what, it looks like it's, could be um, shell or abalone. I'm not too sure. And this could be silver around it. I have no idea. I also have another set in there, but I, th I think it could be just shell because it kind of looks like just shell. Those are stunning guys, no idea. Does that thing have a, a mark on it, baby? Yeah, okay. I was trying to kind of looking. Here is the next item here. A pair of earrings. I'm not sure if they're sterling. No idea. Do you think it's best for me to hire a jeweler to go and look at my jewelry? And that's what another thing I've been talking to the, the ladies on YouTube. And they said, oh, you, t you got to be careful because you never know. You gotta trust someone with your jewelry. There's those ones there. Yay, baby, good boy, good. Oh, he's been all over my neck, itching me. I don't even know if these are real. Sterling, silver, not no magnet. And I had a pair of earrings like that that didn't magnetize, and I'm thinking mm, it could be aluminum or something. You just never know. These are earrings here well this is another different ones so these are the mismatched earrings not sure if they're sterling and this one here like it's just too much testing i think i have way too much testing and then i have these ones here and these ones here no idea guys no idea and then that one there like no idea what they are a lot of testing so yeah that's that one there if you're interested in any of those let me know please that'd be helpful okay i'm going to the next one and it's like the gold earrings gold looking earrings i was going to show you guys what it was but that's okay i'll just grab everything and it looks like there's copper in here too sure I have everything here is a stud this is from the gold collection I don't know if that's diamond Let's see if you can see it not sure not sure here are the other earrings they look like shell and they're the gold tone looking ones Very, very pretty shell. Oh my gosh, they're stunning the color. Look at the glistening in them. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. These ones here. I'm not sure if they're gold. Never tested. I have a little um, container with my husband. He's been testing some gold to see. These two, not sure. But then you, they don't have marks and you don't know. Like, if they don't have marks on earrings, how are you going to find out? There's only one of these. This looks like it's copper, bronze. It's an earring, it looks to me. And you can see the discoloration. Pendant, I mean, a uh, earring. Not sure, it's vintage, so I kept it. And there's another earring. And if you look at the clasp, the clasp is like unique so I'm thinking if it's the way the clasp is like that maybe it's gold you know and a pair of earrings here 
They look like they're old. Yeah. I'm not sure. There's some more. Wow, this is going to be a long video, I think. We're already at 34 minutes, and I have one more row to do. And there's these earrings here. They look like they're like, um, well, maybe it'll be like a 40 minute, 45 minute video. Okay, because they take a long time to load. See? It looks like cat's eyes, but I don't know if they are. Brown little beads. Okay, so that's that one, and then we're going to go to the next one. This one is super unique. I love it. I've seen them online before. And I'm not sure the retail price, but yeah. Look at this, guys. What do you guys think of this one? Isn't that a great find? Stunning. These are pearls, I've heard. Pearls. So I'm assuming this is silver. And look how stunning that is. Absolutely stunning. Look at the color of that. You don't think there's a... <gasps> oh, wow. Is that glass, babe? Plexiglass. 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 Do you think that's old? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? How old do you think that is? Oh, my gosh. You want to show it off, baby? Really? Okay, look at this, guys. Could look get, how could get shine more. it could get shine more, he yeah. said. And look at how stunning that is. So I, I believe I'm going to just clean my silver. I know some people don't like to get their silver clean, but if I find a really beautiful piece that I want to showcase the stunningness of it, oh my gosh, I have to. Like, I really do. That's beautiful. Look, look at the marks in that, guys. Like, whoa. Look at the size of it, too. Isn't that stunning? Thank you, my love. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know. Maybe it's not silver. I don't know. It doesn't have anything on it. Thank you, baby. It's absolutely stunning. You can see my face in it. <laughs> wow and then this came out of it so he says it's plexi so i guess it's not as old as we think it is or the way i think it is i don't know i don't think they made plexiglass back in the 1800s but i could be totally wrong beautiful and i'm gonna post this on my ebay but i don't know if i am now I think I'm not going to. Yeah. So it feels like glass, but I don't know. He says it's plexi. Not sure. But it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. I don't even know this is supposed to go. Okay. There we go. That's that. But like I said, here, look at this bracelet. <laughs> like, what is this one worth? No idea. Okay, and then there's this bracelet that came with that one, or in it, with it. Not sure if it's silver. Like, I mean, the magnet is not working for it. So what the heck is it? Is it not? I, mean, I don't know okay that's that that's that section the top the top one the top top one okay okay the next one is the rings that's the back one the back we're gonna go through the rings here not sure if there's st sterling silver or silver what they are no idea guys I'm so sorry I have a feeling this one is silver, has a rock on it, black rock, with a little bit of brown. It's pretty. Okay. 
and it could be adjusted. And the size is size eight, but it could be adjusted. Size eight. Stunning. I like this one a lot. There's that one here. There's this one here. It's also adjustable. And I'm not sure what it's made out of. And I don't even know if that's a rock. What kind of rock that is. Beautiful. This one is a size six and a half and it could be adjusted, adjusted. I hope someone can come to the rescue. What do you guys think I should do? There's that one there. There's this one here. Bunch of rhinestones. I don't think this one is adjustable. It looks like it's all attached and it does have the breathing hole. The size is seven. Seven and a quarter. Seven to seven and a quarter. Pretty. This one here, it's a flower. And this one looks like silver. Daisy. Is that what it could be? Could get shine too. And this one is a size seven. A size seven. Okay, I'll put it on. Let's see. Put my ring finger. Pretty. That's pretty. Okay, and here's this one here. And it looks like it's adjustable too. I'm not sure what it's made out of. Not sure. And it is a size, and it could be adjusted. Six six and a quarter and it could be adjusted. I love rings. Love rings. Here is a rose. A rose ring. Beautiful. I'm not sure if it has anything written in it. I tend to just put the jewelry aside. This one is a size six and three quarters. Is that how you say it? It's just above the seven. Beautiful. Super pretty. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Still a little loose on mine. Let's put it there. Pretty. So like I said, if you're interested in any of this jewelry, let me know. This one is it looks like copper. It looks like it's copper. It's a it's not adjustable, but it's one of the springy ones. And that's what the back looks like. But yes, if you are interested in anything, I am um, selling for sure. This one is a six. I am selling. Definitely. So if you need something in your life, let me know. This one here, it looks like it's sterling silver. Just a tiny guy. Looks like a toe ring in a way. Might be. But the color of it, it's so so um, it just just looks like it. This is like a two and a half. So I could be a toe ring. I think it is a toe ring, but it's. I think it's sterling. I think it's silver. You can even use it as a pinky pinky ring, like one of those ones that you just put right there. Stylish. Yeah. 
if you want to. You don't have to wear it as a toe ring. Okay, so those are those. Those are the rings, and we have three more compartments, and then we're done. Okay, the next compartment right beside the rings are some earrings. Looks like it's two pairs, and these ones look like they're super Victorian or very, very old, super duper old, and they are stunning. Oh my goodness, guys. Beautiful. And that's the back of them. Like, I have no idea what this stuff is worth. No idea. I know it's really bad, but it looks like there's something back there. Oh, but my goodness, like, look at the way these are made. And look at the colors. You can see the colors. Like, you can see the rainbow in them. So, they're stunning. And then there's these ones here. And they look like these are from maybe Mexico. I'm not too sure. But they could be Mexican silver as far as I know. And that's what those ones look like. Those are pretty cool. Oh, I like the way they look on the camera. Like they, the orange pops out. Mm -hmm. That's what the back looks like. I think one of them they're missing. Yeah, they're missing. Oh, it's just the color of the the felt. But look at the, the detail in these. Super pretty. Those are those ones. Okay, we're going to the second last one in the back. These ones look like they're pins, pins, brooches. And the next one I believe is brooches too. Here is a turtle with rhinestones, crystals. Not too sure if they're crystals, but they, they're pretty shiny. And there's the backing. I don't know if there's any maker's mark on there, but I'm not gonna do any research. It has the red, I mean, sorry, it has the, um, green eyes green eyes super pretty guys oh my god i love brooches rings and brooches are my favorite and makeup compartments too are one of my favorites but rings would be my first then brooches oh. i'm gonna put this back on so everything is for sale if you see anything, you can have it. I just need to do my research and yeah. There is a rhinestone brooch. It's super, it looks older, like the way it's made. Yeah. And then this one here. It's sad that the jewelry doesn't say anything on it. I wish it did. All the jewelry. There's this brooch here. I'm not brooch, pin. This one would be a pin. I noticed that people call things pins and brooches. It depends on the size. I'm learning that too. And there, it comes off with that one. And this one is missing, a, thinking a pearl, a pearl. And that's the back of that one. Okay, one more. I'm going to put these back. Okay, here is a brooch, a fish brooch, koi fish. And I have a pack of jewelry from this maker that I never even knew. And it's from Butler. And he is a Canadian, I believe he's a Canadian uh, jeweler. And he is fine jewelry, fine art jewelry. So I have a bunch of his jewelry that I am going to be posting on my eBay, unless you guys are welcome to see it. But I have lots of his jewelry, not lots, maybe about nine pieces. And his maker's mark is on here somewhere, probably right there. But this one is missing some stones, so I kept them aside. There's a couple missing, one, two, Looks like there's about four four little rhinestones missing, but he is so adorable. The core fish. And look at the gold and the silver in there. Super pretty. Here is a cameo. And you know what's so funny? Because I do have another set like this, but it comes with earrings. I'm not sure what this is Victorian or if this is like what is this? And what is this made out of? But I do have a set like this 
I don't know if it's the same picture, but this looks like a man. I'm not sure. Short hair, anyways. Could be a female. But this one looks like silver to me. Like, it looks like it's made, handmade. But there's no mark. I can't see it unless, like, they're really hidden. This one in here, the second last piece, guys. This one looks like it is um, brass. Could be brass now that I'm looking at it. And these could be pieces of turquoise shell. I don't know. Turquoise stone and then or shell. But the way it looks, it looks like it's like, what is it for? Is that like, maybe it's a bracelet piece. Hey, could be a ring. Someone can make it into a ring too. Okay, the last piece. I just noticed I had two of these. So that's cool. I didn't, I just was looking quickly. Didn't even look, but I just saw it popping out but I have another one of these ones here and it's a nice huge brooch look how big it is and it does have a maker's mark but I'm not gonna read it I don't have time for that but like I said if you do see something that you like and you need to have it and you see something that you're like whoa Jamie this is worth like a million dollars then let me know <laughs> or a couple hundred or a hundred whatever it's worth let me know because hey we're all on the same team and we all love each other and that's it. So that is my recording of my first jewelry box for you all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you loved it. And that is the makeup container and box here. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being patient. If you do enjoy this series, I will continue doing them. I do have like eight of these. And I do have a lot of other jewelry too. Okay, so I can always uh, continue if you feel that you enjoy this series. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. And um, all the information will be down below. Don't forget to check out my eBay stores. Come and support me. That would be grateful, greatly appreciated. Love you. Bye-bye.